you're seeing in the last days is what you've been seeing that has been bringing us to the last days from the very beginning. You have been seeing the purpose and the reason, or the reason for judgment coming into the earth. The reason for the wrath of God and the anger of God. The reason for the fall of the nation of Israel. What was it? What was the reason? It was always a little leaven. That leaven of the whole lump. It was always the phony cats. And the mistake that our nation made in the past is we allowed the demons to stay among us. The mistake that our nation made in the past is that we allowed the devil to enter into our homes and enter into our land and enter into our hearts. So that's why God called it a little leaven because now it's spreading. And now the whole nation is becoming wicked or them became wicked. So everybody had to be carried away into captivity, including the prophets and including the priests. The prophets wasn't wicked, but they had to be carried away into captivity because Israel still had to get the words of God. Where were the prophets going to prophesy to? The bushes in Israel? Now they had to be in Babylon with the nation. But the phoniness has always been in here, which is within the nation of Israel. How do you know when you phony? See, the scripture says examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. Don't you know your own self? How do you know when you phony, when you speak the words of God, but you ain't, you ain't doing them? When you can give a mighty speech and you can, you can give a mighty class and you can stand up and clap to your hands, it's hurting like hell. And you know you ain't keeping the commandments of God. You know you phony and God know you phony. And you in here and God ain't looking for you. See, God said that he's found of dumb that sought him not. Usually the people that ain't looking for God is the ones that end up finding him. The ones that think they know something about God the Father, they think they know too much. And they end up finding nothing. See, God the Father is a spirit. And he's also a mystery. Christ said, when he prayed to God the Father, the world have not known thee. See, it's when people think they know God, when they start making the mistakes. When you think you know somebody, then you, you feel comfortable with them. You think, okay, you know, you start making excuses. Most I understand that. How many of y'all ever heard that of it here? Who told you know God? <laughs> to talk about what he understand? You start creating, because you got, you, you got people that think, it ain't, you know, we already know how the world, the world going to be wicked. We already know that. Scripture said the whole world lieth in wickedness. So we already know that. We already know they're going to say, not my Jesus, and I have a special relationship with Christ. We already know that. See, when you think you got a special relationship with somebody, especially with Christ, then you're going to think you can get over on things. Because you know I'm like that. You're going to think that you can get away with doing things because you know them like that. So we already know that's the world, right? Because they got that special relationship with another Jesus. So that understanding that they're given in that world, he's letting them get away with things like that. Because you know, we know them like that. We ain't got to keep the commandments. We can hate our brothers. We can divorce. Because we know them like that. You know, he's in my life revealing things to me in spirit. So we understand that, you know, or I understand, and, and the ones of us that know the truth and that really know God understands that that's going to be the mindset of the world. We understand that. You ain't going to change that because the world is already predestined. It's already doomed. The scriptures talk about a day of doom. That's when the whole world goes to hell. <laughs> but then you got the nation of Israel. You got the chosen holy people of God that the Lord is bringing back through his word, through prophecy. You got the history of the nation of Israel. You got the Bible. And you got the things that we were supposed to learn from our past, from our history. What was he supposed to learn? The scripture says the things that was written aforetime was written for us to learn from. 
Don't be phony with God. Don't try to come up with things in your own mind thinking that you're going to be safe with God. The Lord is looking for the utmost obedience. He's looking for devotion. He's looking for you to be a follower of things that is good and that's right. He ain't looking for you to lean upon your own understanding. The scripture says that every word of God is pure and that you have to trust in the Lord your God with all of your heart and lean not upon thy own understanding. What that mean? There's no room for foolish thinking when you trust it in God. There's no room for may be or may not be when you trust it in God. See, when you know God, everything don't have to be manifested and everything don't have to be clear. Because if you know God, then you know you would know that He has not yet manifested Himself and made Himself clear to everybody on this planet Earth. The prophets cried out and said, "Surely, Lord God, thou art a God that hidest thyself, hide itself to the point where people cried out, where is the Lord your God?'" To the believers of the nation of Israel, when they were going through trials and tribulations in the history. It was the enemies that caused them she, and then it's not necessarily female. See, there's a there's an effeminate spirit in the demons. Everybody got that? In the world we living in today, they call it bitch assness. <laughs> Rather surprise, huh? Just letting you know what they call it. <laughs> she, which is my enemy, shall see it. And then shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? See, everybody in Scripture says not all men have faith. But everybody, gonna, who going to sit up there and really, really trying to make you think that they ain't got faith? People going to try to make you think that they got faith. They believe. Of course I believe. But faith without works is dead, like the body without the spirit is dead. Scripture says that I'm going to show you my faith by my works, so that's the right spirit. If you really believe, then it should be evident. It should be clearly seen. If there is no phoniness in you, then it should be evident. It should be clearly seen. It's easy for somebody to stand up and, and, and um, you know, act like they believe in Jesus and act like they got the fullest faith in Christ and they believe that when things go wrong... You know, it's going to get right. But watch that brother real close when it really start going wrong. Where's that belief? Where was all that talk about? Yeah, when it's wrong, you know, take it cheerfully. When you, in, when you catching some hell and it's wrong for you, where's the cheer? <laughs> Do you really believe? Are you really following the words of God? See, this is, this is what God always manifests. This is something that's within, the, within a person. And you can't, you can't see it unless you unless you in spirit. See, Christ said he knew from the beginning those which believe not. Why? Because even though he walked in the flesh or he was in the flesh, he lived in the spirit. The scripture says a spiritual man judge of all things, yet he himself is judge and no man. So a spiritual man see things that spiritually discern. The Lord calls them discerner of spirits. But to the average man, you can look at a face and they can put on a, a face gives you all kind of expressions. And it can be very deceptive. And they'll try to make you think that they believe. So what God got to do? God got to manifest them because see, God tried the reins and he knows the heart. And he knows what's really going on in the heart of man. The scripture tell you that before you even, when people think of negative, people think they're getting away with it. I ain't going to rise up, not yet. But don't you know before that thought was in your head, it was already in the hands of God? Probably before, before you were born. God had the thought, it was like, oh, so look at this. 50 years from now, you're going to rise up. You need to send the thought out. <laughs> Catch up with you 50 years later. You do. Don't think you're going to rise up. 
You swear you're getting away from God. You just swear you're getting away. You're just sitting there in the middle of a, of a crowd of a hundred or a thousand and think none see of you and none hear of you. 